The most famous work of Leonardo da Vinci with her subtle smile has enchanted the art world for more than 500 years and has been the object of selfie takers since a camera was added to the front of phones. But does that coy, mysterious smile actually belong to an entirely different woman? Hey guys, it's Mikey Jam. In 2004, the Louvre gave French scientist Pascal Coutts access to the Mona Lisa for the purposes of analysis and study. Since then, Coutts has spent more than a decade using a multispectral camera to project intense light on the Mona Lisa and measuring the reflections in order to map the layers of paint beneath its surface. Coutts then used these measurements to reconstruct what was contained between the layers of paint. Recently, he rocked the art world by announcing that his pioneering Lear amplification method has uncovered a second portrait underneath the famous painting. According to Cult, this seated female figure looking off to the side instead of straight ahead and unsmiling is the real Mona Lisa. Rather than Lisa Gherardini, the wife of a Florentine silk merchant who is widely believed to have been Leonardo da Vinci's model. According to the most widely accepted historical accounts, Leonardo da Vinci painted the Mona Lisa sometime between 1503 and 1517, while he he worked in Florence and later in France. Beyond these vague details, the painting's origins have been draped in mystery. Some believe Leonardo created more than one version of the painting, while theories as to the painting's inspiration ranged from Princess Isabella of Naples to an unnamed courtesan. The artist's mother wore his male assistant. Recently, at a press conference in Shanghai, Coates announced his controversial findings, which states that in addition to a second seated figure, which Coates believes the depicts the real Mona Lisa, his analysis uncovered the shadowy outline of yet another figure, with a larger head and nose, bigger hands but smaller lips, and a Madonna-esque image with an etched pearl headdress. Colt said, The results shatter many myths and alter our vision of Leonardo's masterpiece forever. When I finished the reconstruction of Lisa Gherardini, I was in front of the portrait and she is totally different to Mona Lisa today. This is not the same woman. The for its part has declined to comment, but Colt's claims have already drawn fire from many experts. Martin Kemp, a former art history professor at the University of Oxford, praised Colt's ingenious techniques but said that his idea of another portrait hiding under the existing one is untenable and that he remains convinced that the Mona Lisa is Lisa Gherardini. Andrew Graham Dixon, an art historian whose documentary The Secrets of the Mona Lisa features Colt's research and is is more of a believer. On the heels of Cult's announcement, he told BBC News that, I have no doubt that this is definitely one of the stories of the century. There will probably be some reluctance on the part of the authorities at the Louvre in changing the title of the painting because that's what we're talking about. It's goodbye Mona Lisa. She is somebody else. The world's most famous painting has long been a mystery. It was argued that after Leonardo's death, the canvas was trimmed, cutting out a pair of columns that flanked the subject. Art historians now dispute this, arguing any images showing the painting with columns were made by copyists. Some believe Leonardo created more than one version of the painting. One famous example is dubbed the Isleworth Mona Lisa, a portrait discovered before World War I that also depicts a young woman with an enigmatic smile. Also, there are at least eight copies of the Mona Lisa which shows her sitting nude. These have led to speculations that they were copied from a lost original original depicting her naked. I'm not a huge arts person and uh, I'm gonna say this from the perspective of somebody who really doesn't understand much about art. So this is just my opinion and you don't have to agree with it. I just want to say that uh, seeing the Mona Lisa in real life is probably one of the most overhyped, underwhelming experiences I've ever had. I mean, the painting, first of all, is super small. It's behind thick layers of protective glass. Uh, it's roped off and then you got people like this guy taking their obligatory Mona Lisa selfies. Because you know, your whole life you hear about the Mona Lisa, you see the pictures. So then the expectation is building and then I see it in real life and it's just, you know, it's not as great as I imagined. But guys, let me know your thoughts about this story and uh, let me know, have you seen the Mona Lisa in real life? And be honest, what were your thoughts when you first saw it? Thank you so much for watching. See you later.